The point of this exercise is to learn how to use the QOG codebook and dataset to assess the relationship between two variables empirically. In this example, our dependent variable is internal armed conflict in a country. Our independent variable is regime type of a country, that is, whether a country is democratic or non-democratic. We will explore how the regime type of a country affects its internal armed conflict. So let's use the codebook to find our variables of interest. You can always look through the contents table, but an easier way to find your variable is to use the find option and type in the keywords of interest. So for example, here we will type in internal conflict, and as we press enter, we will be taken through the document where that keyword is found. The codebook provides a detailed description of all included variables and how they've been coded. So for example, here for internal armed conflict, we can see that it has four different number values assigned to it. However, we only need this variable to be described as either low levels of conflict or high levels of conflict. Therefore, using the descriptions provided here, we will use no internal conflict and minor armed conflict as low levels of conflict and the other two as high levels of conflict. At this time, you must also note down the variable title from the codebook. We will need this in order to find it in the actual data set. We will now repeat the process to find our other variable, that is whether a country is democratic or not. Again, we can do this by using the find option and typing in democracy. The codebook has several variables which reflect a country's democratic status. For this exercise, we will use the democracy variable, which is coded as 1 or 0. We can see that our find option will take us through all the variables which contain the term democracy. Finally, we find the democracy variable which we will be using for our analysis. As mentioned before, it's coded as 1 if it's a democratic country and 0 if it's not. Again, you must remember to note down the variable title name so we can find it in the Excel dataset. Having found the two variables that we need for our analysis, we can now move on to using our Excel dataset. Once you open the data set, which is using Excel, you can scroll through the main tab and see that there's a large number of countries listed as you scroll down. And as you scroll across, you will see that there are a large number of variables associated with each country. However, we only need to find the two variables which we identified in the codebook. Using the variable title, we can use the find option to find our first variable of regime type. We can also find the other variable in the same way. Once we find the variable, we can highlight that column because that is the data which we will be requiring for our analysis. Again, you can simply type in the variable title that we noted from the codebook. Once again, highlight the column of your variable. The last piece of information we need in addition to the other two variables is the list of countries. Therefore, we can also highlight that. The next step to do is to copy the columns of the data that you need. Open a new tab in Excel and paste the information.
feel free to change the name of the variable.